In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the volume and the surface area of a cylinder. So let's draw a rough sketch of a cylinder. So this is the radius of a cylinder, and this is the height of a cylinder. The volume of a cylinder is basically the volume of the base times the height. Notice that the base of a cylinder is a circle. And B represents the area of the base. The area of a circle is pi r squared. So it turns out that the volume of a cylinder is just pi r squared times the height. It's the area of the base times the height of a cylinder. Now, what about the surface area of a cylinder? The surface area is going to be the area of the base, which is the top circle and the bottom circle, plus the lateral area. So it's B plus LA. Now, the area of the base, we know the area of a circle is pi r squared, but we have the bottom circle and the top circle. So it's going to be 2 pi r squared. And then the lateral area. Now, if you take, let's say, a piece of paper, you can roll it into a cylinder. Let's say this is still the paper, but it's about to be rolled into a cylinder. So the rectangular area of this paper can form the size of a cylinder. That is the lateral area. And we know this is h. And the length, if you turn it into, if you roll it up into a cylinder, that length highlighted in green becomes the circumference of the cylinder. So basically, it's the perimeter around the circle. So therefore, it's going to be the circumference 2 pi r which represents uh, the length in green, times the height. So uh, that is the surface area. It's basically the area of the base, that is the area of the circle on top and the bottom, plus the lateral area, the area that is around the cylinder. So those are the two formulas that you need in order to calculate the volume and the surface area of a cylinder. Now let's work on some word problems. Number one. A cylinder has a radius of 5 centimeters and a height of 10 centimeters. What is the volume of the cylinder? So let's draw a picture. So the radius is 5 centimeters and it has a height of 10 centimeters. So all we need to do is basically plug the info that we have into this formula. The volume is pi r squared times the height. So it's pi times the radius squared, which is 5 squared, times the height of 10. 5 squared is 25. And 25 times 10 is 250. So the volume is 250 pi. So this is the exact answer. You can also write the answer this way. 250 times pi is 785.40. And the units, cubic centimeters. So you can also write the answer like this if you want to. Number two, calculate the surface area of a cylinder that has a radius of 7 inches and a height of 12 inches. So R is 7 and H is 12. Now let's write the formula. The surface area is 2 pi R squared plus 2 pi R times H. 
all we need to do is basically plug in everything that we have into that formula. So R is 7, and H is 12. 7 squared is 49, and 7 times 12, that's 84. 2 times 49 is 98, and 2 times 84 is 168. So now what we need to do is add 168 and 98 together. 8 plus 8 is 16. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 9 is also 16. Carry over the 1. And so this is going to be 266 pi. So that's the surface area if you want an exact answer. If you want to round it to the nearest hundredth, 266 pi is about... This is using the exact answer, not 3.14. It's 835.66. And the units are inches cubed. Actually, inches squared. When you're dealing with volume, it's going to be inches cubed, centimeters cubed. But when dealing with any type of area or surface area, it's going to be inches squared, square feet, square yards, square centimeters, things like that. So this is the answer. You can write it in any of these uh, two ways. Number three, the volume of a cylinder is 324 pi cubic centimeters. If the height of the cylinder is nine centimeters, what is the surface area of the cylinder? So take a minute and try this problem. It's best to write down the information that you have. So we have the volume, which is 324 pi and we have the height, which is nine centimeters. Our goal is to find the surface area of the cylinder. Now we have the volume equation of the cylinder. It's pi r squared times the height. And the surface area equation is two pi r squared plus two pi r times h. So we're also missing the radius. We need to find r before we could find the surface area. So let's use this equation to find the value of r first. The volume is 324 pi, and h is 9. So the first thing we could do is we can cancel pi. You can divide both sides by pi if you want. Next, let's divide both sides by 9. 324 divided by 9 is 36. So 36 is equal to r squared. Now all we need to do is take the square root of both sides. The square root of 36 is 6. So now that we have the value of r, we can now find the surface area. So the surface area is going to be 2 pi times 6 squared plus 2 pi times 6 times a height of 9. 6 squared is 36, and 6 times 9 is 54. 2 times 36 is 72. 2 times 54 is 108. 72 plus 108 is 180. So the answer is 180 pi. Now, if you want to get the decimal equivalent of that answer, that's going to be 500. 65.49. And because we're dealing with area, surface area, it, the units will be square centimeters. Number four. A cylinder has a radius of 2.5 feet and a height of 14 inches. What is the volume in cubic inches? Now we need to be careful with the units because Right now, we have the radius in feet and the height in inches. So you don't want to just plug these numbers into the equation because you won't get the right answer. The units have to match. So let's convert feet into inches because we want the volume in cubic inches. One foot is equal to 12 inches. That's our conversion factor. So we have 2.5 feet. So we're going to multiply by 12 inches per foot. You want to set it up in such a way that 
the unit's feet cancel. So 2.5 times 12 is 30. 2 times 12 is 24. A half times 12 is 6. If you add 24 and 6, that gives you 30. So this is the radius. It's 30 inches. And we already have the height. So all we need to do is just use the formula to get the volume. So it's pi times 30 squared times 14. 30 times 30 is 900. And 900 times 14, that's 12,600. So it's, it's 12,600 pi cubic inches. So that's the volume in this problem.